I want to show you what can happen when you cry while you've got your lash extensions on. So if your client goes away and she's got, you know, you made sure that everything is separate. You can see here, everything is separated. All the fans are fluffy and open. And then they come back and they're just, they've gone a bit crusty. They're all stuck together. All of the bonds have suddenly got stuck together. Um, I just want to try and explain what can happen um, while you've, if you've been crying, while you've got your lash extensions on. So I've got some heavily salted water because obviously there's salt in tears and I'm just going to run it over the top. Okay, so we've all cried at some point where our eyes are that drenched, definitely. Now, the first thing that you would normally do when you're crying is rub your eyes. So they're rubbed, you rub them. And now I'm just gonna leave that to dry and see how they brush out once it's dry. Right, I've dried these now, so I'm gonna give them a, a brush. And they are, they're crispy, they've gone like crispy. They're stuck together, some of them. Um, and they're just not very nice at all. You can see the difference in them. So what happens is the salt will, the salt in your tears will grab onto the lashes and you'll, you'll, they'll be a bit pulley and they'll just never fan out again. And they'll have like a sheen on them. Um, and that's where the sort of crispiness comes from. Another thing that can happen is it can start to break down the glue over time. You know, if you've had, if your clients had a real like tragic couple of days, um, it will start to break down the adhesive. Um, not so much maybe sometimes that, they will all come off. Yes, eventually, you know, they will, but it will break down the adhesive enough for it to go soft. And then you've then got risk of these sticking together, especially if you're rubbing your eyes together like this. Um, the bonds will stick together because they've gone soft enough to be able to do that. And then they'll go hard again. So then everything will be stuck together. So you knew that your client went away and everything was separate. It was lovely and fluffy and it's come back and everything's stuck together. And now you're questioning your own work. It's probably that she's been crying. Um, another big telltale sign is if one natural lash has sort of fallen over here where she's rubbed and it's got stuck. That's a telltale sign that the adhesive has gone soft, broken down. She's rubbed her eye and then the other lashes have fallen over the top um, and, and got stuck. And that's where you're going to get pulling, irritating, itchy, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, if any of this sort of stuff happens on your infills or they're complaining to you about X, Y, Z reason, probably been crying. Um, and I'll always say, you know, I normally see this because of crying and then they'll go, ah, yeah, I was crying. So if you're somebody who's wearing lashes and you're crying a lot, you're an emotional little being, um, then best advice is to shampoo them. Once your crying episode is finished, Shampoo your lashes, give them a good double shampoo and that will just get rid of all the salt. And I suppose that goes for the same as, you know, if you're swimming in the sea.